Blessing soul travelers and welcome to Venusian Empress Oracle. It is Priestess Melissa. Guys, I don't know about you, but I have your girl has been pretty dang busy lately, is all I can say. Alright. So I have been getting things taken care of on the business end of happy medium hypnosis. If you have not checked out my Google page, do go ahead and do that and feel free to leave a good review if you feel inclined to, all right, because I do enjoy helping people, especially to be in a happier state of mind, and we are able to accomplish that for sure. HappyMediumHypnosis.com and VenusianWays.org, guys, if you need to get any of your blessing bundles for sure, especially at this time of the year, you want to make sure that you're protected. I was actually listening to something um, by, uh, oh, I can't remember his name. Anyway, he's one of those, you know, monks in any case. He's well known. I just can't think of his name. Arash or something of that nature. Um, in any case, he was talking about protecting yourself and your energy from the 10th through the 25th. So if you've been feeling a need to do that, I would definitely encourage you to do that. Um, get some Palo Santo, get some sage, you know, put selenite around your room, like in your windows and stuff like that. Do you know, look up these hoodoo techniques, or you know, like I said, you can go to venusianways.org, and I'm blessed because I am an initiated and ordained priestess, so I bless these bundles so that they have even more power, actually, than just going out and buying one, all right? So anyway, we're going to get into our Spirit of the Animals Oracle cards today and see what spirit animal wants to speak to us. Now, I have to say, I've been seeing dragonflies, bees, um... Oh, there's a squirrel in my yard. I have to, they're going to, um, you know, catch them and just let them go away from here. But yeah, so I've got to handle that. I've had some, some interesting experiences, positive and negative with uh, animals and insects, if you will. Lately, it's been a lot of spiders and uh, scorpions. My daughter found a centipede on her in her bed not too long ago, right after we had sprayed. So I have no idea what's going on, but we're definitely always putting up the protection here. Okay, so let's we get our Oracle message out for our spirit animal and see what's going on with all that. I'm gonna tap into the jack-o'-lantern tarot and the vice versa tarot to clarify things a little bit further. I have my inner F and peace cards. This one says fresh out of Fs or F-U-C-Ks, you know, I don't wanna get in trouble. And embracing inner peace, absolutely, right? We're getting our vision in order, taking off the ish cover colored glasses if you will <laughs> putting on some more rose colored ones just steering clear of all the bs if you will that's all we need to do all right and then we're going to get love messages at the end of our reading today guys from the romance angels card so do stick around for that now watch your ears while i bring in the good juju and clear out the bad thank you so much infinite spirit angels, ancestors, glaciers, guides, bring the wisdom through, dear wisdom of our animals, the totem spirit, show us what we need to know. Take a couple of nice slow deep breaths and relax. You guys, I have to celebrate with you right now because we have hit over 200 subscribers. Oh my god, thank you. I, it is all because of you guys. I just... I celebrate all of my wins. I'm really appreciative of all of you is all I want to say. So do continue to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification, of course, if you haven't already, because you do not want to miss any of your daily readings, which I use different Oracle cards as well as Carol cards for. Now, I'm getting ready to start tonight the Zodiac reading, so I'll start putting those up tonight. And then I will um, finish them up tomorrow. All right, so look out for those. Yay! Let's see what's going on here, guys. All right, Spirit of the Animals Oracle. Tell us what we need to know. What is the animal that wants to speak to us today? Hello, how are you? Show us what we need to know, darling. Something I wanted to speak. Nope. Uh oh. Ooh, <laughs> maybe it was all my singing that brought it out, but we've got the humpback whale and singer. This is all about being who you truly are, singing your song, you know, not 
caring, who's watching, you know, who's around and things of that nature. We're all here to live our life and to engage in this experience and be who we truly are, right? So at some point we have to stop caring about what other people think and just do our own thing. Obviously not harming or hurting other people, but outside of that, yeah, we're pretty much unlimited with what we can do. Now the card here says, sing healing songs for the world your inner imagination all or sorry your inner navigation always guides you so i mean like you know the right way to go forward and more importantly if you've been seeing the contrast you know that you've been going the wrong direction so this is what i'm going to say with this energy so allow your inner na navigation that always guides you the right way when you listen to it and we all know what happens when we don't right Sometimes not anything crazy, but who knows? Because sometimes when we don't, we will never know kind of thing. Nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal. Align with your purpose and the power in your soul. So this is all that passion, if you will, it feels like around a project or bringing life to something, you know, and maybe singing right now. And, you know, especially songs that uplift you, like mine is Hall of Fame. Standing in the Hall of Fame, and the world's gonna know your name, cause you're burning with a bright flame. Yeah, so you got to have fun so you can keep charging ahead. <laughs> that ram energy, get over those mountains, or, you know, allow yourself to be in that energy to effortlessly move those mountains, because when we're in the right place, guess what? Those are the mountains. <laughs> All right, so if you need some help with that, definitely get a session with me at happymediumhypnosis.com. White stag and protector, you are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. Use your intuition to take you where you wanna go. Awaken to the powerful force within you. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. Ooh, who is touched and got some goosebumps with that energy? I was thinking of Capricorn energy with this. Definitely, you know, charging ahead, ramming <laughs> like a rock. <laughs> you have many gifts. Again, with the gifts, it's talking all about gifts here with all of this. All right. No problem can withstand the power of your mind. Ooh, do you have a powerful mind? Well, I can certainly help you with that, darling. All right. So with patience, you can reach your mountaintop. Never give up and good luck will follow. Who's ready for some of that action? Do hit the like button. All right. Bring that in for yourself today. So how can we sing our song even more powerfully? You know, what perhaps has been holding us back? What have others been saying to us that have maybe kept us from feeling like we can't be who we truly want to be? You know, because sometimes it's just our perception. Many times people aren't really as concerned about us as we think they are. You know, they're just living their own life as well. But we do always know those people that seem to be up in everybody's business right what about this singer energy what do we need to know past energy show me what's going on here Hunt that whale queen of wands energy definitely uh this is going to help you maybe you just started uh, playing around with this energy like dancing and singing and stuff because queen of wands energy is usually like a magnetic energy you know she feels uh, she's well she's seen as magnetic and amazing and beautiful wow look at this are you singing because you just won the lottery jesus i mean ten of pentacles well something is about to make somebody happy is all i can say or has what is this seven of cups energy though Ooh, maybe something seemed too good to be true hmm Four of Swords energy, now we're resting because somebody, you know, did something. You know, it's that energy of like the first time somebody snaps at you or gets angry at you, right? And they've never done that before and you've seen a different side of them, if you will. Maybe that's what happened here and it made you pull back and look at this situation a little bit closer, right? Hmm, what else is coming out for us today? Choose wisely. We have the Two of Swords and the Three of Cups. Interesting. 
So this is definitely a choice around your happiness. You're going to have to uh, choose wisely and you're not gonna be able to see very well if you don't take that blindfold off, darling. What are you going to swing your sword at? What are you going to cut away? The moon, wow. So there's confusion. Maybe you're feeling like you want to move forward and you know be happy without this confusing energy is what it feels like. Maybe you don't feel so much like singing right now or this person didn't leave you in a state of feeling so much like singing because if this was a third party situation as well, this definitely would have left you in a state of confusion. You know what I mean? Ooh, definitely mental manipulation, huh? Five of Swords energy coming out here. So definitely somebody was messing around with you, making you think one thing. It's almost like they were trying to kill your spirit. Maybe you felt that way, right? No, 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 darling. This is time for you to step back out into the world is what it looks like to me. Um, it's kind of like that energy, like a Lizzo song, pretty much any one of them. But, you know, it's like, I do my hair toss, check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? Feeling good as hell. How many of y'all love that song? I know, right? Somebody needs to sing a song of empowerment. I think that's what's really going to help you um, to get through this energy, to get yourself back in your seat, you know, of feeling good. And maybe you're hanging out with your girls after you found out about this situation too. All right, let me clarify further because I'm just talking right now. But if you're resonating for sure, hit the like button. Queen of Wands energy. Oh yeah. Somebody was definitely trying to uh, mess with your head, is what I see here. You know, they're never going to leave you out in the cold, of course, because you're going to see it coming sooner than other people would see it because the queen knows better, all right? And when she sees these things, she cuts them out, especially when it comes to your energy, right? Being confused, absolutely. You're going to turn it to the queen of wands there. Once again, turn your back on any conflicting energy that somebody may be trying to bring towards you. 1221 I saw on the um, timer. You know, this could be somebody that's causing a lot of arguments and constantly bickering with you. You know, never allowing you to you know, be able to focus and plan, you know, so you could stay at the top of your game. And you've noticed that perhaps you haven't been seeing the growth like you were before, like your intuition is off or you're not able to tap in quite the way you used to. So I feel many of us, again, singing these empowering songs to help us to get back into our game. What is this Seven of Cups energy here? Three of Cups in reverse energy. So definitely this is an you know, this can all also mean that somebody's drinking too much. So this could be an energy of something that's going on around you as well. Seven of cups, three of cups. Well, that would be minus, so that would be four of cups. So definitely disappointing energy, leaving you wanting more, you know, asking, like, what is going on here? I'm confused, you know, why I'm not feeling like this is like an even exchange kind of situation. I feel like this person again was definitely playing with you, acting like they were putting the work in, right? But maybe they really weren't on their game. Maybe they really weren't the type of person that they said they were, you know, or had the money that they said they did kind of situation, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. So that's definitely going to not make anybody feel very happy, right? because that's sun in reverse energy here. Yeah, somebody's definitely got their walls up. Somebody's definitely very guarded, has been blocking you out. Yep. Mostly they've been playing with you and more or less, it's, it's more of a mind game, you know? I don't feel like they can get at your emotions as easily, but they can mess with your mind because they know that you've got your mind on a lot of different things, you know, and it feels like that they're constantly pulling off of, pulling you off of your focus where it needs to be. Yeah, absolutely. Karmic energy here with this nine of wands energy in reverse. I feel like this is you not wanting to deal with this. 
that energy of if I've got to question it, I don't want to deal with it kind of situation, right? And this could be somebody hanging out with their friends and somebody else, or, you know, this could be you confused about what's going on with this, uh, whoever this person is. It's taken a lot of strength for you to deal with, you know, do what you have to do, but walking away, I feel ultimately is what you're going to see is going to be best for you, keeping your guard up against this person so they don't steal your magic or they're not able to affect your ability to tap in the way that you normally do and you know bringing in your abundance yeah you got to keep your <clears throat> your heart open your heart chakra open you never know what you're going to be dealing with around the corner right yep absolutely so this is about us feeling i think safe you know this is the energy that i'm mainly getting with this really a I feel a lot of guarded energy, confusion. We saw five of swords many times, nine of, well, five of pentacles too. And then we've got the nine of wands and that's, you know, always talks about karmic situations and being guarded, you know, but coming to the end of a situation is what I feel because you already know what's going on. What's going on with our inner F in peace? <laughs> Carpe effendium, baby. YOLO. You only live once. Hey, if you're wrong, you know, at least you know that you're not going to have to wonder and worry, okay? That's kind of how I see it, you know, because are you really going to be happy otherwise? Carpe effendium. YOLO. All right, so do what feels best for you for sure. What else is coming out for the collective today? Collective energy. See, I'm singing too. I can get pretty silly if you know me personally. Everybody knows that. Um, it's how I get through the, you know, the seriousness of surgery, I guess you could say. All right. And also coming out is the truth will set you free. But first, it will piss you off. Did it? That's probably what's going on here. Now that you've understood what's going on, you're like, Bye. And you will champion your truth like a mofo and rest on the seventh day. So champion your truth like a mofo and rest on the seventh day. So the truth will set you free, but it'll piss you off first. Keep calm and effing breathe. That's going to be so important right now, whatever this is, because I feel like it's definitely going to piss you off. I do sing sometimes when I'm pissed off. I will say that. Yeah. Um, especially like if I'm pissed off about a case I have to do or something like that, or I have to keep going back to back with cases and I can't really take a break or something like that. I'm like, oh great, I could get to the thing that me. How amazing is that? And it helps me to kind of get some of the anger out. I don't know if that makes sense to everybody, but maybe, maybe you understand my silliness. Who cares? You know, unrequited love. Yeah, I think that is definitely what it comes down to with that carpe effendium. And I got, say la vie, say la vie. That's just the way it goes sometimes. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Wow. All right, what else is coming out today? Well, I feel like somebody's still trying though. But yeah, you're not worried about them anymore. You're just trying to tap back into your energy again and get back on track is what I'm feeling. Maybe you are gonna go to the ocean. Forgiving and learning definitely seems in line with what's going on here. This card says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yes, I love that energy. And um, again, with the, you have way too many gifts and you're too effing magical to be bound and caged, you know, by somebody who doesn't even really understand or appreciate you. All right, well, hit the like button, hit the bell and subscribe notifications, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.